Good morning, Oyster. I'm Taylor. And I'm Logan, and these are your morning announcements. Don't forget that this is Key Cup Week. We appreciate all the community service you all do. Everyone be on the lookout for Key Club members under the boardwalk at lunch. They'll be rewarding people for keeping the campus clean. Also, please remember to help them with donations for the animal shelter. These can be dropped off in room 3103 or 3207 by Friday. Anyone who has not completed a dual enrollment application form who wants to take fine arts, survey, art, or music dual enrollment in the spring needs to see Ms. Hunt for your, or your guidance counselor before Thanksgiving break. Student Council, your meeting is tomorrow at 5 in the library. Do not forget. Teachers, Character Count Students of the Month nomination forms of the month of November have been placed in your boxes. Please take the time to fill out these and return them to Mr. Grant by Wednesday, November 13th. Character Counts, due to the teacher in service next week, your meeting has been rescheduled for Tuesday, November 19th. There will be two meetings. One at 7.30 and one at 3.15. Both are in Mr. Grant's classroom. Be sure to attend one of these meetings. In senior news, priority deadlines for applying to colleges for scholarships are as follows. ULM is December 16th, Tech is January 5th, and LSU's is November 15th. In upcoming scholarships, Prudent Spirit of Community Award application is due online today. AXA Achievement Scholarship is due December 15th, and the National Hispanic Scholarship Fund applications are also due on December 15th of 2013. Juniors and seniors, Louisiana Delta Community College's Discover Delta is at the Camp Road location on November 12th and at the main campus of Delta on November 21st. If you attend, you'll be able to apply to Delta for free and meet staff to find out more and find out more about clubs and organizations organizations on campus. Financial aid information will also be available. Get to Know You Know is the University of New Orleans open house that will be held on November 16th from 10 to 2. You can come see the career coach for help in applying for these events. Also, don't forget to see the career coach to apply today to any colleges of your choice so that you will be in line for all the scholarship and opportunities you're eligible for as well as registering for housing as soon as possible. The Career Coach's Office is located in Guidance. Just a quick reminder to everyone who signed up to take the ASVAB. You will be taking that test tomorrow morning. You should report to your first hour teacher to check in and then head down to the auditorium. Teachers, you have been, you have been sent a list of all participating students. In sports news, good luck to our football team as they travel to Natchitoches Central this week. Friday's theme is Rebel Day. Everyone wear your Rebel gear and show some spirit. Our JV Lady Rebel soccer team won their scrimmage against Neville last night with a score of 1-0, with our very own Ann Bishop scoring the only goal. The Varsity Lady Rebel soccer team beat Neville with a score of 1-0 also. This goal was made by Alyssa Stefani with an assist from Abby Anion. If you missed this game, you can watch the JV Ladies in action Tuesday at 5.30 against Bastrop and Rebel Stadium, and the Varsity Ladies in Action Thursday the 14th at 5.30 versus West Washtenaw here in Rebel Stadium. Congratulations, la congratulations, ladies, on last night's wins over Neville, and everyone make plans to come on out and watch these ladies as they start their season. As always, West Monroe students get in free to Lady Rebel soccer games. Have a great day, West Monroe. Take me home.